Today we're drinking Big Mountain Beer and we're looking at a new Big Mountain Boot. G'day guys, it's Rocky here from Further Faster and it's that time of the week when we do beer o'clock review, when we uh, have a yarn about a beer and have a yarn about some new gear. And uh, normally set off with a beer and, well I've got a new beer today because I definitely have never had a beer from this place. This is a out of France, actually, it's uh, the Brasier de Mont Blanc. It's a Chamonix brewery and they've made a light IPA. Um, again, I found this at the beer library. Brought a book of the bloody library. We've got so many good bloody beers up there, I tell you. Um, yeah, it's a, I think it's 4.2, oh, 4.7. And it comes in this hell of a, hell of a big bottle. And it's a cracking bottle as well. You keep the bottle, wouldn't you? 750 mil. And um, quite clear for an IPA. You know, it's almost a little bit like a, like a Belgium, actually. They, they're calling it IP, soft IPA. I'm calling it steady drinker. And yeah, that's, that's the beer. And um, obviously, Mont Blanc, big mountain. And we've got a new slave of boot, which is a big mountain boot. How's that for a segue? I think it's great. So this is the Autels Mid Gore-Tex. This is Salewa's new mountaineering boot. Um, it takes the place of what was Vulture and what was Raven. Uh, very much like the, the old Vulture in lots of ways. Uh, you've got the TPU reinforced rand, which you had on that. You've got the climbing lay system, which goes kind of right down to the bottom. And you've got that lock off there on the cams on the third end. You've got a quite aggressive Vibram sole there. Uh, and the rubber on this is actually quite good. It's not too soft. On some of the mountaineering boots, some of the, the Vibram soles can go for, up for real soft rubber, which is fantastic um, on snow, but on rock it wears down a wee bit fast. This is a, a decent mid-density sole, so it's gonna, it'll do well on rock or snow or ice or whatever, whatever you're taking it. Obviously, as you can see, it's a leather suede construction quite quite a tough boot uh, 855 grams in weight uh, comfy to wear um, it's pretty true to size as well I'm a, a 45 and uh, I'd say I'd probably go I'd go a UK 10 in this so they would tend to work off the UK sizes so quite true for size uh, you've got what they call integrated gaiter I guess it's more of an ankle cuffing in it more than anything else there but it's up quite high very very comfortable to wear um, it'll obviously it's a mountaineering boot so it will take uh, crampons this this is a men's version uh, this is the ladies version so we just slapped on here this is the alpinist uh, combi by Salewa so it's a crampon so you'd expect it to fit well to their own boot so it'll take a semi-articulated like you see here heel bell at the back normal at the front um, price wise it's 799 and uh, it sits really nicely say next to the Aquilibrium by La Sportiva, if you want an all-round mountain boot, and you don't need something that's completely stiff. It's only like three-quarters stiff, so it's comfortable for a big walk-in as well. And you can get up, you know, most snow slopes, a little bit of mixed rock and ice, but not full-on ice climbing. It's not, it doesn't sit there, but it sits for that, you know, for that mixed kind of climbing effort. Anyhow, there you are, that's the Salewa Autels Mid Gore-Tex, and it's snowing outside, and I hope you guys are all have had to play in the snow this weekend. Cheers, see you soon.